This is a new gaming project that just launched their game last week. It's called Overtrip that reminds me a whole ton of Fortnite. A couple months ago, I showed you guys a video on how to sign up for this airdrop right over here on this dashboard. And there are a handful of different ways you can participate. But the easiest way to join and earn on this airdrop is to get in on this 25 million trip rewards pool by clicking this button here and going over to Epic Games and just downloading Overtrip. It's free to play and it's on Epic Games. It doesn't get any easier than that. Step number one is go to trip.mattscrypto.com to sign up for the airdrop. It's completely free and all you need to do is sign in with your Twitter or your email. Now, besides playing the game, the second way to get in on this airdrop is by heading to this dashboard and completing some of the social challenges they have. You can see right here under the game tab, this is where you can come and do a daily check-in. You're gonna get rewards for playing Overtrip every day for seven days. So you actually do have to check in to the game and play it uh, at least one match each day to verify that you did these seven days, which will give you 5,000 points. There are also other game missions like getting kills, going on a trip, using certain weapons in the game to get kills, and those are all gonna give you different points. But if you don't wanna play the game or you've already done all of your tasks for the day for the game, you can go over to the social tab here, and this is where you can do social quests for season two to earn more points towards the airdrop. So you can see they have replying to tweets, joining the questing program, you can join the telegram, and all different types of social stuff just like that. You can complete all those right over here on this social tab page. Now, one other really cool thing you can do right now is if you go and sign up for this airdrop, you can actually get this battle pass in the game totally for free just by going to your airdrop page using my referral code, which again is trip.mattscrypto.com, and then doing one simple tweet about how you've joined the game. Now, as you can see right here on the Overtrip tokenomics page, 100% of the community pool is going to be unlocked on TGE, meaning that if you participate and play the game, you will earn points and those points will convert to these trip tokens, which will unlock during the TGE. And you won't have to wait for vesting at all. You'll get these on day one as soon as it drops. So this truly is a play to airdrop campaign. Instead of play to earn, the token hasn't even come out yet. So you can play the game, earn points, and those points will convert to the airdrop drop once that happens. So I haven't seen any other product that's really like this, where it's directly by playing the game, you will earn airdrop points and therefore airdrop tokens. It is truly a new technique. It's adding play to earn with airdrop farming. And you can also airdrop farm socially if you want to, but both are completely free. The game is free to play. And then obviously getting rewarded with tokens, which have some monetary value. We don't know what that will be. It might be very little, it might be pretty good. I'm not sure can't say, we don't know yet, but getting something back for your time rewarded in the game by playing the game and actually doing well in the game is pretty cool. Now, this is the total tokenomics breakdown, and we can see that the actual amount of tokens that are getting released for the pre-playing the game in the beta, the phase we're in right now, is 25 million. And that's actually a very small portion of the total distribution, right? This is the airdrop right here, 25 million to the airdrop. If you're an NFT holder, which they have an NFT collection, you're actually gonna get a pool of 75 million tokens. So I wouldn't say we can expect a crazy, crazy amount for playing the game. I don't think you should have your expectations crazy crazy high compared to these other numbers, but you do get 100% of those tokens at TGE, meaning that you won't have to wait like these other ones will. The NFT holders are gonna only get 20% at TGE, then they have to wait two months and they're gonna get the rest of their tokens, the remaining 80% of the tokens that they got from the NFTs over the course of the next 12 months. So it's a lot longer of a waiting period to get those tokens as we're playing the game and getting part of the airdrop or doing the social tasks and but getting part of the airdrop, you're gonna get all that right up front. Now, just for disclosure, I don't have any KOL round. I don't have any investment in this. I have absolutely no skin in the game with this project. I am playing the game and seeing how it goes just like you are, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I actually really like the project. The, the, the website, I think, is super awesome. They are just super on the nose about the meme culture that we've come to expect in crypto. And you can see like TBA is the chain they're expected to launch on. We don't know what chain it's gonna be on. We love it. Uh, what the F is trip? Like they're very, very unforgiving. They're non-professional and it looks really clean though, the way they've presented it. I'm actually gonna go and show you guys some gameplay so you can see what you think of the game. But the truth is it's not often that we see a game in Web3 that's launched before the token or before any kind of real economic value comes into play. So I love seeing that with this project. I think that's the reason I'm 
enticed to try it out is because there is a working game and there is a free to play game that anyone can try out before there's any promise of you know, airdrop or anything like that. You can basically try before you buy, right? You can participate before you have any skin in the game in this ecosystem, which I think is pretty cool and it's not common in Web3, at least as of recently. If you do check out the game and play it a lot, you can see they actually have a leaderboards page right here for both the game points for the airdrop and then the social points. So whether you've done really a lot in the social aspect or if you've played the game a lot and racked up a lot of points that way, you might be able to make the top 30 on the leaderboards right here. And if you do make the top 30, I imagine you'll get a pretty healthy amount of airdrop tokens. Again, not sure what they'll be worth, but you'll be at least getting a lot of tokens. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. Comment down below saying Sleeping Marley, that's the name of my cat. And before you head out, before you head out, go and watch this video.